went to the dollar store in Canada and I'm actually very impressed with uh, this uh, first item. I bought three different things, uh, but this little LED uh, projector is not too bad. Now, keep in mind, uh, I only paid either $2 or $1.75. I can't remember which one of these items was $2. But uh, it's got a very good pattern. It's got, I'm now holding it about three feet above the bench. Still comes out quite nicely. So look on the side here, and I'll put up the times for each of these items as I disassemble, then hopefully reassemble, if I can disassemble them. So let's get at it. For the first item, the color one, obviously, it takes uh, three uh, AAA batteries which uh, do not come with it. Now, one thing is, is uh, on the thing it says, this is not a toy, where I've heard that one before. And there's a good reason. Uh, take a look right here. This goes on. You'll notice that there's no screw hole or screw and screw hole. That means little kids could get access to the batteries. And even on the sign here, for decoration only, not a toy or intended for children. So they are covering themselves on this one. They even tell you how to call the 800 poison control, though in Canada I think you just call a 199 for that one. And, okay, it's got an off switch. And it is made in Vietnam. Actually, two of these items are made in Vietnam and the other's in China. So, I can't feel any screws here. And there's nothing obvious here. These aren't feet. They're little dimples. So there's nothing there, which means the top pops off. I'll just move these out of the way. And if this becomes horribly painful... Oh. Okay, maybe I'm removing the label first. Uh, oops. No way in there. Now let's see if I can get this spludger down there. Oh. Hey. Something in there. Heard some pops. But then it popped right back into the same place. Doesn't feel like it's glued. Okay, I'm going to do this off camera, just to save time. Okay, it finally popped. So, let's stick the batteries back in. And this could be blindingly bright. Turn it on. Yep, no motor. All they're doing is they're using uh, red, green, blue um, LEDs and flashing them at different sequences. And then, of course, this is uh, deflecting into all the nice little patterns. This has got to be the most simplistic one I've seen yet. But for the price point, not bad. Let's see, we have a switch. Let me grit out my greeny. We have a switch. We've got one resistor. We have the batteries. We have three uh, RGBs. That's pretty simple. But I don't even think there's a chip on this thing. Let me, oops. There we go. There's not even a chip. So all they're doing is taking the random uh, timing on these either fast, slow. Okay, either these fast, slow uh, um, LEDs. So I'll just put that back together. Okay, I got it back in there. Um, 
as I just said, minimal components. There's four clips. It actually was a real pain getting it out. I had to stick a screwdriver down there. But uh, that's got to be the most simplistic one I've seen yet. On to the next. And now, a solar garden lantern. As I said, uh, I don't remember which one cost two dollars. But, let's take a look at this one. Nice little solar cell on the top. Comes with, uh, so there's two ways of using this. You can uh, hook it up or stake it to the ground. Come on. And, oh, there we go. One, two, three, four. Stay in focus. Stay inside the area. There we go. Uh, so I guess you just uh, put it like that and then stick the other end into the ground. Of course, you could get a string and hang it from a tree. Let's get that out of the way. Ah, it's got a little rip cord in there. Obviously, this thing probably just pulls apart. I'm going to take a look at this for a few seconds. Happy I looked at it. It just rotates. And there's the LED string, the rip cord. And yes, put it all back together. Get in there. Rotate it. And that nasty persistent cough. Uh, there. So let's take a look inside. This is going to be pretty standard. Uh, okay, it's got two screws. I'll have to grab a proper screwdriver. So just a couple of them. Actually not bad. Uh, this could obviously be repurposed for something else if you wanted to. And you sure couldn't build uh, it for that price point. Okay, let's rotate it around. Okay, you got your standard uh, four uh, leg chip there. There's going to be an inductor on the other side of this. Uh, oh, right. Um, this actually came from. Oh, that's interesting. Made in Vietnam with some made in China parts. And it claims it's a 200 milliamp hour, 1.2 volt uh, nickel cadmium. Okay, let's get that last resistor. See what we can find underneath here. These things are so common. Uh, they're all, almost all identical. Okay, that's not a resistor. That is going to be an inductor. And the color is... I can't tell. Just let me uh, take a closer look. So the inductor is uh, gray, red, black, silver. So 82 uh, micro henrys. And the chip, they didn't even bother to erase this one. Let's see. Yeah, I forget about that. Might be able to get at this. Oh. Is a YX8018. So your standard garden light uh, chip. Uh, the inductor actually sets how much current uh, will flow. So here's a schematic. Uh, they've deviated slightly from the normal one. Uh, here's a garden light chip. Uh, this is a fairly standard uh, setup. You basically have 1.2 volts here. 
this chip uh, pulses the inductor so that when it wants the LEDs on, it gets a positive voltage here. With this positive voltage, it's enough to forward bias this. And there's six um, LEDs uh, in series. No, in parallel. Uh, normally, there's a shocky diode in here. But they uh, got rid of one extra part. Other than that, it's a uh, pretty standard. Here's your solar cell. So that's it for this one. I'll put it back together and I'll use it outside. And then we get on to that item. So now the last item. And it should just be a standard little laser pointer. I doubt that I'm going to be able to take this apart. And this one is made in China. Well, I guess I should find a power bank first. So, standard power bank. I think they have, yeah, okay, they have uh, different patterns. Eh, pretty good, considering how much light I've got in here. Uh, let's see, what does it claim about this thing? It says, do not stare into beam. Do not point light out of car window. So it's meant for being compact USB for cars and home. And follow your local driving rules. It does not say what the power of this one is. But right off the bat, I'd say it's fairly powerful. Now let's see, can I actually uh, pull this thing apart? Oops. Yeah, it's not looking like it. Let's see if I can get a bit more aggressive. The drawer of destruction. This is all molded together. That's why I saved this one for last. But, not bad. This is probably the $1.75 item also. And for anybody that uses these and plays with their cat with them, I would strongly recommend not doing that. Uh, most of these things are way overpowered of what they're supposed to be. I was editing it, I had a thought. Yeah, might as well... Hook it up, see how much uh, power it's drawing. So about uh, 0.14 watts, 0.03-ish uh, amps at 4.8 uh, volts. And I got this uh, a while back for measuring the power. and It's basically right on the bottom of the scale there. It's not even showing up. So this is uh, probably actually within normal rating for lasers in North America uh, for consumers. I kind of thought it might have been a bit overpowered, but I guess not. So of all these items, um, let's get this disconnected. I would say uh, that is definitely really good uh, excellent pattern uh, for the price I think all these items uh, you can't even well you can't build them obviously uh, this one here quite bright I don't know how long that battery will last uh, now that we're into winter here and well it's a laser pointer uh, they're real cheap nowadays so have a good uh, day, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.